This is David Henry Sterry, American soccer fanatic, reporting live from America. Hundreds of millions of humans will soon gather in bars, barns, parks, taverns, caverns, caravans, caves, and bunkers. Some crossing vast deserts just to find a radio so they can listen to a sporting event that's going to be bigger than the Super Bowl, NBA Finals, Stanley Cup, and World Series all rolled into one. It's humanity's biggest pilgrimage, the World Cup. The pot's been simmering for four years, and finally, she's coming to a boil. 204 teams played 837 matches, scoring 2,687 goals, battling it out hammer and tong, tooth and nail, just for the right to be one of the chosen 32 nations who gets the chance to bring home not just the bacon, but the glory. June 11, 2010. Strap it on and strap yourself in, as the mother of all sporting events finally crash lands for the first time in history on the mother of all continents. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Joburg, it's World Cup 2010, South Africa! long marathon disguised as a series of sprints. Let me break it down for you. Wiggy wiggy! Starts with the group stage. 32 nations divided into eight groups, four teams per group. Each team plays three games. Top two teams go through, bottom two teams go home with their tails between their legs. Then it's on to the elimination stage. Win, you live to fight another day. Lose, instant extermination. Ruby, Netherlands, Cameroon, Japan, and Denmark. I can't help it. I love this Dutch team so much I want to marry it. Take it on a honeymoon and have my way with it repeatedly. Robin van Persie is like a cross between Dutch master Johan Cruyff and the little boy with his finger in the dike. I am Robin, besides being one of the greatest soccer players in the world, is also a diva of divers, ready to crumble when struck by a stiff breeze. But can they go all the way? Absolutely not. They are, after all, Dutch. And they will inevitably, eventually, fall apart like a bunch of high-strung high school girls. Cameroon. Cameroon! One of my favorite names to say out loud. Cameroon! Plus, they have the greatest nickname of any sporting team on the planet. The Indomitable Lions. And they have an indomitable lion of their own. Samuel Eto. Plus they have one of the great hard men in modern soccer. Rigobert Song. A man who has a place in World Cup history. Not only is the, he the youngest man ever to be ejected from a World Cup game at the tender age of 17, he is also one of only two players to have been ejected from two World Cups. The other you may have heard of. A man named Zinedine Zidane. I'm rooting for Rigobert to get the old heave ho from yet another game and break the record. Japan have perhaps my favorite uniforms in the entire World Cup, but alas, they have terrible difficulty scoring goals. And as everyone knows, if you can't score a goal, it's hard to win 